Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. We're going to do a wonderful dessert today. It's going to be peach cobbler. And of course, it's the 4th of July, as you can see, and we love the 4th of July. Family's gonna be showing up later, and this is a special peach cobbler. This is in memory of my sister, Corlin, who passed away a few years ago with pancreatic cancer. Hers was awesome. She told us the recipe, but she really truly left something out because nobody's is as good as hers. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is peach pie filling. And this is a 10 inch Dutch oven. So I'm gonna put two cans of it in here. You can use fresh peaches if you'd like, but of course they're not coming on right now. So we're gonna use canned peaches. And that's a peach pie filling. And I always like to put a little bit of ground nutmeg and I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle probably if you wanted to measure it, it would probably be a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe not even that much. And kind of work that in a bit. And then something special, which my sister never did, but we're gonna do it today. We got to harvest some of our fresh raspberries from our raspberry patch this morning. And I'm gonna sprinkle a few of those on top. And just kind of scatter them around. And there you go. Now for the topping, this is like a rich um, biscuit recipe that she had. It's got flour and milk and sugar and butter, of course, and toasted pecans and almond flavoring. And what you want to do is roll it out about a fourth of an inch thickness. Of course, I'm going to have more biscuits. And then I'll just finish baking those in the oven and use them for something else. I like to put the wax paper on it. It just works a little bit better. And then you take your little cutter here. Okay, and what we're doing here is we'll just place them on top and put them so they're touching each other. So the whole top of your filling here will be covered with these rich biscuits. Of course, and we're gonna put more heat on top to bake these and brown them and less on the bottom. And today what we're gonna do instead of using wood coals we're going to use briquettes these are some that i made up earlier that we're going to put on here of course what i like to do so they brown really nice is brush them with cream with a pastry blend uh, brush here oh my this is going to be beautiful. And because of the 4th of July, what you could also do if you wanted to is you could sprinkle some blueberries on here. And then you kind of got the red and the blue thing going on. Everybody's doing fun desserts and fun things for the 4th. There we go. Now we're all ready to take this outside and put it over our coals. And this will probably bake about 45 minutes, but we'll be checking it and making sure it's browning nice, and getting ready for the family when they get up here this evening. All right, we'll see you outside. Just remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and a comment. We'd love some feedback, and we hope you enjoyed this with us today. Thank you. Okay, here we are outside. Of course, the wind has come up, about 35, 40 mile an hour winds. So I'll talk real loud so you can hear me. What we have is eight on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put 16 on top, and then we're gonna bake this for about 40 minutes, and we'll check it in about 30. It's a wonderful place to live on a good day. There we go.
Okay, we finally got our wonderful dessert done. We were dealing with some pretty strong wind, rain, but it didn't hail on us today, thank goodness. And it got done and it's absolutely perfect. The biscuits got nice and brown. Wow. Of course, we're gonna have vanilla ice cream on it later. That's our favorite. Perfect. My goodness. And this is to Susan, our first subscriber, that admits she has a sweet tooth, which we all do. We just don't all admit it. Of course, I'm gonna take a bite for her. Here we go. Thank you. And just remember to subscribe. We hope you love this video. Leave a comment and don't forget to push the like button. Wow, it's excellent. Perfect. My goodness, the raspberries added a bit. You don't have to do that, but we did, and it is very, very good. Mm. Thank you. I better stop. We've got to save this to go with our dinner later. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July.